Good morning, everybody, beautiful people on the internet. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I'm going to show you all the books I've acquired the past few weeks. I've gotten a brand new haul for you guys, and oh my gosh, I went a little bit overboard. I literally bought a ton of I've acquired 20 books. Here they are in their glory. I'm going to show you guys them. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't subscribed, please do now. And I upload a lot of bookish content. And please like this video so I know to create more content like it. So let's move on to the ginormous book haul. Okay. Massive book haul, which you know what that means. <laughs> Time for a drink. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. So in today's video, I'm obviously going to go through a lot of books. And there's 20 new books that I bought, so I hope you enjoy. And also, I hope you like this mirror necklace. I got it from my mother. It is gorgeous. So, let's get on with the video. Alright, so the first book that I got from this pile is Oscar Wilde, The Portrait of Mr. W.H. I believe that stands for William Shakespeare, but apparently not. But I don't really know what the book is about, but all I know is that it's written by Oscar Wilde. And I know that I have to read anything by Oscar Wilde because he's a legendary icon. And I'm so inspired by Oscar Wilde and his writings. So yeah, there's that. The next book that I got is Creative Writing because I got this book because I'm writing my own poetry book and I need to know more about writing, creative writing and how to structure and write a book. So I want to learn more about writing and the power of words and so I got this. It was a bit expensive but it's so going to be worth it because I'm going to use it a lot. Okay, so the next book I got is Oscar Wilde Selected Poems. I got this from Scoop Books and it is from the older edition. It is from 1911. So this one's a bit older, but I thought it was so cool to have like an older edition of an Oscar book that was written close to the period time that he was alive. So this is pretty cool and I'm super excited to read it. I don't know when I'm gonna read this one. Not anytime soon, but definitely maybe sometime in the summer or next autumn. The next book that I acquired is to Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Millers because I'm going to be meeting the author on Monday. So I got both of these lovelies and super excited to read these. My husband, he's already on page 84 and I finally caught up. I just hit my 100 page mark yesterday and I'm going to do some more reading because I'm adding the into a vlog as well so to these right so the next book that i acquired from school books is i don't know how to speak french albert camus le tete de siege i love these covers i think they're so cute and of course i just had to get it because it was only four pounds and it's written by the famous author albert camus Do you see that all right, and the next book that I got is from a charity shop, Emma by Jane Austen. This is the older edition from 1950s. Really cool. I love how the inside looks. Gorgeous. I got it also because it's pink. So, of course, I had to acquire this. All right, next book that I got is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. And I got this from eBay. 
because apparently they're all sold out if you want to go buy this in person. So if this one is a bit of a worn out one, uh, it's not as bad as the other ones that I have, but I do love this picture of Oscar on the back. And don't you just love the hair, like the hairstyle, like he was really working it. Thankfully the pages on the inside are not damaged, so that's nice. It's just like the cover and it has these brown spots. Which I've actually just learned that paper turns different colors because of the air and the oxygen over time because paper is obviously made from trees. So I thought that was pretty cool. And also, we gotta smell this one. Ooh, 5 out of 5 stars. I think all most like older books are like so pleasing to smell. I just think that like some brand new books like this are just as pleasing because they have like that glue smell uh, but it's kind of strange to think that this new book in who knows like 50 years from now it's gonna be yellow inside that's weird anyways um, let's carry on so the next book that I got is Homer by the Iliad of course I wanted to get this one because I saw this in a YouTube video by a books, book, booktuber um, and it looks so aesthetically pleasing so I had to get it and I got this one from Waterstones um, by School Books and I'm so excited to read this one. I read Homer's The Odyssey but I haven't read The Iliad and this has the, and this has the character Achilles in it so I'm super excited to read that. And I went a little bit crazy, you guys are gonna judge me, but I went a little bit crazy with Evelyn Wall. Uh, I bought three books of his, plus another one, which is right here. So I bought four Evelyn Wall books, let's go through them. So I bought this one at the Waterstones that I bought this one by Scoob and then I got these two wait no so I got this one by Scoob this one from a charity shop and then this one from Oxfam that was so difficult to find I was really struggling to find this book you cannot find this book anywhere so I was gonna buy it online uh, like this edition, but it looks so scraggly and like beat up. So This was like located in an Oxfam charity shop that was across the Thames River and So I had to get on the overground the underground a bus and in the DSLR train I believe it's called um, to to get this book so I traveled far and wide to get to this book like almost two hours of traveling to get this book and I thought so I took a bus to the River Thames because I thought there was a bridge that you can walk across the River Thames but apparently there wasn't and so the bridge was underground and I was walking down these spiral stairs and I saw like the tunnel going across the other side and because it was underground you felt the pressure and I don't know I just I just felt so claustrophobic that I just got out immediately I couldn't do it so I just took the train the DSLR train across the river and went by like that so quick so um but yeah it was uh quite the pain to get this book but I'm happy I did and of course I got this one like I said by Waterstones and I think this I love these editions. I think they are so cute, just like sitting on your table. And I also, I want to show you guys, I got this really, really cute mug that matches. How cute is that? This was on sale at Watchersons. So of course I have to get that by the Tottenham Street. And yeah, so that's Evelyn War Books. And uh, so the next one, I... I actually read this one, A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway. I got this from School Books as well. 
I paid five pounds for it. I did some underlining. The first half of the book was good, and the second half I got really bored. Like I was dragging myself through it. I love Ernest Hemingway, like the way he writes. It's so like simple and it's so like detailed about life and stuff. I don't know, I just love his writing. So that's good. Um next book I got was Dracula's Guest. This is the missing chapter from his original novel but dracula that they took out so i'm so excited to read it. and i'm also going to romania soon so i think i'm gonna bring this copy with me and read it while i'm there so i get like the whole romanian vibes and i might also i think i'm going to read dracula while i'm in romania as well because i haven't read that book and i feel so so bad that i haven't finished it so I'm going to read that one or this one, so I'll let you know in the video later which book I read. Okay, next one that I got uh, recommended by a booktuber, A Spy in a House of Love by Ani Anani Anais, I don't know how to say that, Nin. Um, I'll read you the synopsis. Sabina is a firebird blazing through 1950s New York. She is a woman daring to enjoy the sexual license that men have always known, wearing extravagant outfits and playing dangerous games of desire. She deliberately avoids commitment, gripped by the pursuit of pleasure for its own sake. A spy in the house of love expressed her individual vision of feminine sexuality with a dramatic force. Through Sabina's affairs with four men, she lays bare all the duplicity and fragmentation of self that is involved in the search of love. This sounds so interesting. I'm so excited. I got this at Walter Stone's. And I got these two at Walter Stone's. So this is Things We Say in the Dark by Kirsty Logan. This was such a hard book to find. I went in the biggest Piccadilly store in all of Europe and they couldn't find this book. I had literally three employees searching for this book on the first floor, second floor, third floor, the front of the store, the back of the store, everywhere. Nobody could find this book. But the other Waterstones that, that's in Covent Garden, they had it. So, of course, got it. And I'm super excited to read it because, like, look at the cover. Amazing. And, like, just how it... It's short stories about things we're afraid to say in the dark, kind of self-explanatory, but I'm just like really interested in reading this and it has like really pretty illustrations on some of the chapters. So yeah, I'm excited to read this. And then the next one I got, I literally bought this on a whim. Right when I was at checkout at the Covert Garden Waterstones, it's A World of Love, but it's by Elizabeth Bowen, and I really just love the cover. The cover was so pretty, so I got that. Um, so yeah, these all from Waterstones, and then I got The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter. I don't really know what this is about, but I know it has some... I read the back. It says it has to do with fairy tales and legends like Red Riding Hood, Puss in Boots, Beauty and the Beast, Vampires and Werewolves. So, of course, I was just, like, so stoked about it because I don't really know... Some people said it's, like, like in, like, scary? I don't know. But I bought it from a charity shop, and there's, like, some underlines in here. Um, but it was one pound, so I couldn't pass it up. Alright, next book is Anna Green Gables. I got this from a bookshop that was so cheap. They had so many classics for so cheap. This was only three pounds. Um, this is by L.M. Montgomery. And I'm so excited to read Anna Green Gables. Because I have this favorite booktuber. Her name is Darlene Desi. And she comments about living life her life romanticizing her life as Anne Shirley and so I want to know what she's talking about so I really want to read this book and I'm super excited to start it but yeah guys that's all the books that I have acquired over the past two weeks I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching I will see you guys in the next video I love you so much bye